What's up guys, Eric Clagg with Primal Tennis. Wimbledon is upon us. What an awesome time of the year it is. So let's take a look at the top five first round matchups on this year's men's draw. And I do wanna say first that most of the top players got pretty easy first round matchups. But one player that got a terrible draw is Andy Murray and we'll touch on that a little bit later. And coming in at number five, we've got Mackenzie McDonald and Alexander Bublik. Now McDonald has made the fourth round at Wimbledon before, that was in 2018, and he just made the Eastbourne Invitational semifinals, but don't read too much into these smaller grass court tune-ups. Now Bublik plays very well on grass, although he's only made the third round at Wimbledon before. And this year he won Halley, one of the biggest grass court tune-ups, and in that tournament he beat Korich, Sinner, Zverev, and Rublev. So he's playing very well on the grass this year. Now McDonald and Bublik have only played two times before, each winning one time. Both matches were in 2020 and on indoor hardcourt, so it's been a while since they played. But I think Bublik's recent success at Halley is gonna give him enough confidence to pull out a victory here over McDonald. And at number four, we've got Yannick Hanfman and Taylor Fritz. And Hanfman has had a late career resurgence. At 31, he just reached his career high at number 48 in the world. And they've only played one time before, this year actually, in which Hanfman whipped Fritz but it was on that red clay at the Italian Open. Nobody can forget Fritz last year when he made the quarterfinals of Wimbledon. He played Rafael Nadal in an epic five-setter, but it was a weird match in which Fritz lost, even though Nadal had the abdominal tear on the injury, which there's just a weird loss there. I think this is a very tough first round matchup for Taylor Fritz, but he's got that massive serve. I think he gets a win over Hanfman, even though I think he'll probably get a set or two. And number three, we've got David Goffin versus Nick Kyrgios. Now on paper, this should be an easy win for Nick Kyrgios, but you just never know with him. You never know where his head's at. For example, last year's Wimbledon, he went five sets with qualifier Paul Jubb in the first round, but then he went on to make the finals and lose to Djokovic. And David Goffin is a veteran. He knows how to get into matches and make a tough match out of anyone. Now these guys have played four times, but they have not played since 2017, which is a very long stretch, about six years. And Kyrgios does lead the head-to-head -head three to one, and the two have never played on grass before. In fact, Gofin won the only best three out of five match that they played when Belgium played Australia. And we still don't know if Kyrgios is fully back from that injury, but I do expect him to win. He's got that massive serve on grass. I think he's just really gonna overpower Gofin. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And number two, Berrettini and Lorenzo Sonego. Now this is interesting because both guys are very good friends, longtime doubles partner, and both from Italy. And they've only played two times at the ATP tour level, although they played many times in the Futures and Challengers. And we still worry, how is Berrettini gonna come back from his injury? We haven't seen him do too much as of late. And we just saw Sonego whip Berrettini just a couple weeks ago at the Stuttgart Open. He beat him 6-1, 6-2, on the grass. I think this has all the makings of a five set match, although I think do think Berrettini's experience at Wimbledon, he's been at the finals before, will end up getting him the job done. And at number one, we've got Dominic Team and Stefanos Sissipas. And wow, I cannot believe these guys are having to play in the first round. And get this, the winner of this match is most likely gonna have to play Andy Murray in the second round. So it's really a, just a terrible draw for all three guys. And Team and Sissipas is, or, or was, a very fierce rivalry back in the day with Team leading five to four in the head-to-head. -head. And these two guys have never played each other on grass before, and neither one of them has actually ever had a very good Wimbledon, never having made it past the fourth round. Grass is their worst surface. But as you can see in this chart, it does seem that every match they have has at least gone three sets in the best two out of three sets. So we're probably gonna get a four or five set battle in this match. And we know with Team's wrist injury he had a few years ago, he still has not ever returned to form. It's so hard to have a wrist injury and he's got the one-handed backhand. So we're just dying to see him return to form eventually. But Team does have one thing that Sissy Poss doesn't. That's a Grand Slam title because they won the 2020 US Open, although Sissy Pass has played in a couple finals. Well guys, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment in the comment section. I wanna hear your opinion. And please like this video and subscribe to the channel and check out some of my other videos. I've got other Wimbledon previews, like the top 10 contenders at this year's Wimbledon and the top storylines and previews and predictions about this year's tournament. And I hope to see you out on the court soon. Ciao.